Hi there, welcome to the first Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to quickly introduce JavaScript to you, what it is, what it isn't, and what you'll need to know in order to learn and follow along the future tutorials. It's just a brief, basic introduction. So what is JavaScript? Uh, it's one of the most widely used programming languages today, used in almost every web page. Uh, it is an object-oriented, weakly typed scripting language. Uh, object-oriented means that everything in JavaScript is an object. They contain variables, subvariables, properties, and functions, also known as methods. It's weakly typed, meaning variables can be converted from one type to another. Uh, for example, you can turn a string, which is a number, into an integer. Uh, where in strongly typed uh, programming languages, you cannot do that. And it's scripting means it's a it's not a compiled language like C++ or even Java, which needs to be compiled before you can deploy it. Uh, on the right here, we I have some just some screenshots of what some of the structure looks like, some of the syntax looks like. If you've seen any of my C++ tutorials or any programming tutorials online, any books, you can see that they look very familiar. It's pretty much the same thing. There's objects, there are arrays, there are booleans, integers, strings, etc. We'll go over everything soon. So what isn't JavaScript? Well, first of all, JavaScript isn't Java. Uh, they share a similar name, but they're actually really different. Uh, there's a history of why JavaScript is called JavaScript. Uh, you can look that up on Wikipedia. It's a really cool story that actually played a big role in why JavaScript became so popular. Uh, many people think that JavaScript is just client-side. That's something that happens in your browser. It's not true. Server-side JavaScript exists. Uh, one example is Node.js. Uh, it's not hard to debug. The developer tools in your browser makes it really easy. Uh, my last tutorial actually covers how to use the developer tools in your browser uh, and how to use the element inspector as well as the JavaScript console to modify things on your web page. And in future tutorials, I'll show you how you can actually debug JavaScript itself. JavaScript should not be used as a security measure. JavaScript can be turned off and can be manipulated as I showed in my last tutorial and as you'll see in future tutorials that JavaScript is really easy to bypass and JavaScript is not hard to learn if you've ever taken any other programming language uh, if you know any other programming language JavaScript should be really easy for you there's some unique things about JavaScript here and there but it's actually really easy so what do I need to learn JavaScript uh, one, some things that I won't cover uh, in the tutorial series is HTML and CSS. You don't need to be an expert, but you need to know the fundamentals. You need to know how the tags work, how, what IDs are, what classes are. You need to know how to, you need to know the, the, even the basic CSS properties such as borders, underline, font size, etc. Because we'll be manipulating all of them using JavaScript. And if you don't know how it looks in HTML and CSS, it may be a little bit difficult for you. Again, you don't need to be an expert, but you need to know the fundamentals. You don't need prior programming experience. Although it helps if you already know some of the programming structures and syntax, you don't really need it. You can learn JavaScript if you're just starting out. Uh, I will make this tutorial series really easy for beginners. I'll explain everything as much as I can, and I'm always open to questions. Please ask. You'll also need a modern browser. I wrote in parentheses that I'm not a fan of IE. Uh, so we'll, uh, my favorite browser right now is Chrome, and we'll be using Chrome uh, for most of my tutorials, although you have Firefox, Opera, they all work as well. Uh, you should also have some familiarity with the Element Inspector and the JavaScript console. Uh, you should watch my last tutorial where I go over the developer tools uh, and a brief introduction to the Element Inspector and the JavaScript console. I'll do more tutorials on how the JavaScript console can be of use to you. Uh, you should also have some kind of text editor. Uh, the most basic type of text editor you can have is Notepad. It comes in every Windows machine. I'm sure there's something similar in Macs. Uh, here are here's a list of other text editors that you can use. I actually use Brackets a lot. It's by Adobe and it's actually really good. It's lightweight. Uh, you can get it from Brackets.io. Notepad++ is another one of my favorites. I use that a lot. Uh, Komodo is a full you can use the IDE or just the Komodo edit and Sublime Text is another fan favorite. There are many more. These are just four examples. You should have one. We'll be using one or two just just to see just to do some JavaScripting. Uh, some resources that you should know is uh, the Mozilla Developer Network, MDN. So JavaScript is controlled by Mozilla. They 
they contain the most in-depth documentation and everything JavaScript. So if you have any questions on how a function works, how you know a methods of built-in functions in JavaScript, global, super global, blah blah blah, you could all find it in the Mozilla Developer Network. Another really good resource is W3 Schools at w3schools.com slash js. Uh, they have great tutorials which are easy to follow and understand and great examples. I will reference both of these resources a lot in my tutorials so be sure to visit them as well. Uh, another thing you should have is a JS Fiddle account. This lets you write and test your JavaScript code live uh, along with HTML and CSS. Uh, most of the tutorials in this series will use JavaScript uh, for our examples. I will provide links to all my fiddles so you can go in and fork them and modify them to your liking. If you have any questions about JavaScript, about what this series uh, will bring you, please ask in the comments below. And please visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials and subscribe for future tutorials. I hope you learn a lot about JavaScript. Even if you know JavaScript, I hope it's a good refresher for you. Thanks for watching.